Hi class, welcome to organization and management subject. So before we start, um, let's start off with the prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for every opportunity and blessing you've given us. May you always guide and keep us and our family safe, especially during this time. We pray for the whole world's healing and the end of this COVID-19 pandemic. May you always help us to always trust in you. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. I will continue, O oh my God, to do all my actions for the love of you. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. St. John Baptist de la Salle, pray for us. Leave Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. So hello again, ABM 11. So this is your organization and management subject. So for today, we're going to discuss Chapter 1, Fundamentals of Management. So before we start our discussion, let's have a quick recap of what we've discussed during our synchronous class. So I've presented to you that organization is a consciously coordinated social unit composed of two or more people that functions on a relatively conscious basis to achieve a common goal or set of goals. And then I also said to you that management is a process of coordinating people and other resources to achieve the goals of an organization. So it is also the art of getting things done through others. So when we say also management, it is to plan, organize, direct, and control the resources of the organization for obtaining common objectives or goals. It is related with resources like material, money, machinery, methods, manufacturing, and marketing. So for today, so we're going to discuss fundamentals of management. So the nature, the importance of management, and just a um, quick history or what's happening in the business world right now, why we need to study this organization and management subject okay so nature of management so we say management is an activity so it is not only a um, an activity but it is a purposeful activity why because dito kasi nagte-take place yung planning natin controlling organizing so yung mga nangyayari sa business. So, sa business naman, hindi lang siya relatively all about um, ko ano yung business mo. So, it's also about how you manage the organization or the business that you have. So, then next is management is concerned with efforts of a group. So, dahil nga um, what you really manage is a is an organization. So, an organization is composed of group of people. So, kaya ang management, hindi lang siya nagko-concern sa INSA, pero as a whole group. Okay. So, next is management applies economic principles. So, when we say economic principles, um, it has something to do with the people you choose in the organization, um, that everything has a cost, the incentives, the people that create economic systems to influence choices and incentives, and also economic action that creates secondary effects. So, yun. So, yun yung mga economic principles na na-apply natin sa management. Next is management involves decision making. So, nasab nasabi natin kanina yung mga pur purposeful activity ng ng management. So, yun yung sa planning, controlling, and then while doing those activities, um, it involves 
decision making. So, hindi lang naman basta magpa-plan ka. So, lahat yon is pinag-iisipan and pinagpa-planuhan. So, management is getting things through done through others. So, dahil nga it consists of group of people. Then, management is an integrating process. So, the ba nabanggit nga natin na it's a group of people. So, integrating kasi it is um, pagsasamasamahin mo yung different kinds of people. Diba? So, it seems that yung pag integrate ng tao between the organization because these people have different backgrounds, have different upbringings. So, yun. So, it's the process of integrating them into the whole organization. And then, management coordinates all activities and resources. So, sa loob naman ng management, for sure, sa isang business, meron kang different activities and meron kang iba't ibang resources. So, lahat din ng um, parang nag-keep plan or nag aayos niyan is through the management. And then next is, management is a universal, universal activity. So, it doesn't only happen here in the Philippines. So, it also happens globally. So, dahil as long as merong organization, as long as merong kailang i-manage. So, we say that really management is a universal activity. And then that management is not rigid. I'm, or rather, management is dynamic and not rigid because um, dynamic activity as it has to adjust itself to the regularly changing environment. So, hindi siya rigid kasi ang management natin is flexible depende dun sa situation that we have or the kind of business environment that we have or the changes na magkakaroon or meron sa current na nangyayari ngayon. So, kaya hindi lang siya basa, they, hindi lang siya rigid, rather it is flexible and dynamic in nature. So, next is the importance of management. So, management is a goal-oriented so, bakit? So, because management is concerned with achievement of specific goals. It always directed towards achievement of objectives. The success of management is measured by the extent to which objectives are achieved. So, in, in a certain kind of organization or business, meron yan kanya-kanyang objectives or goals. And yun din, yung pinaka-primary goal or gusto ni management. Kaya nga, the success nung management can be measured through dun sa extent kung hanggang sa na ba nakakamit nung organization or nung business yung mga objectives nila. So, it means the pag okay yung or nakakamit nung um, organization or business yung mga objectives or goals nila. So, it means successful yung management within the organization. And then, management is associated with group efforts. So, we say a while ago na it's not just um, isa, so hindi na lang siya isang tao, but rather a group of people. So, it also associates with group of efforts. So, the business comes into existence with certain objectives which are to be achieved by a group and not by one person alone. So, management get things done by, with, and through the efforts of group members. It coordinates the activities and actions of its members towards a common goal. So, itong management, hindi lang sila yung mga nasa higher ups or yung talagang managers, ganyan, but rather yung buong group starting from the rank and file or yung pinakababa up to the top because it really is a group effort. 
so next is that management is tangible. So when we say tangible kasi it cannot be touched, it cannot be seen. So it is an unseen force. Its presence can be evidenced by the results of its efforts up to date order, but they generally remained unnoticed, whereas mismanagement is quickly noticed. So, itong um, management kasi intangible siya kasi hindi natin nakikita directly. Hindi natin nakikita kung ano ba talaga yung management. But ang parang nakikita na natin is yung effect niya or yung results. That's why um, example nito is kapag merong mismanagement, yun yung napapansin natin. So for example, sa isang organization merong hindi magandang nangyari. So that's mismanagement. So yun yung nakikita natin na part. Kaya tong really to management is intangible. So, number four, management is an activity and not a person or group, group of persons. So, management is not people or not a certain class, but it is the activity. It is the process of planning, organizing, directing, and controlling to achieve the objectives of the organization. So, lagi tong tatandaan that management is an activity and it is not a person or group of persons. Okay, because itong management, ito yung process of yung pagpa-plan natin, pag-organize, pag-direct, and pag-control into achieving the objectives or goals of the organization. Number five, management is situational. So, why situational? So, management does not advise best way of doing things. Effective management is always situational. Because, um, iba-iba naman yung nangyayari eh. So, maybe the best way of doing this on a certain situation is really the best way. But if the situation changes, so hindi na siya yung best way. Kaya di ba nasabi natin kanina na flexible ang management? Kasi pwede natin iduktong yan dito sa situational because it adjusts kung anong situation yung meron tayo. Okay, so a manage, manager has to apply principles, approaches, and techniques of management after taking into consideration the existing situations. So, yun, yun, so yung pag-analyze muna ng situation kung anong meron, and then yung mga principles, approaches, and techniques, so yun yung i-apply para dun sa situation na meron. So, it does not technically na yung management um, ina-advise niya aga yung best way of doing things. Okay, but rather, yung effective management is always situational. So next, management is universal. So most of the principles and techniques of management are universal in nature. They can be applied to government, organization, military, educational institutions, institutes, religious institutes, etc. They provide working guidelines which can be adopted according to situation. So, tulad nga na nabanggit ko kanina, universal siya kasi it doesn't involve only yung mga businesses, ganyan, but rather yung mga government organization. Kasama din yan, mga religious institutes. Basta lahat ng nagko-compose ng parang group, group of people are yung isang buong organization. Ganyan. Next is management is concerned with people. Since management involves getting things done through others, only human being perform this activity with the help of planning and control. The element make So the element cannot be separated from the management. So kindly just um, delete this man. So the element cannot be separated from 
the management. So, tung di ba nga tung management kasi as we um tola na na banggit natin kanina it's a process of planning, controlling. So part ng controlling is controlling ng mga tao na involved sa organization. That's why isa din sa pinaka concern niya is yung people or yung mga tao na nasa organization. So management is a combination of art, science, and profession. So management makes use of science as well as art. So science siya kasi meron tayong methods and data, nag-a-analyze tayo and nag-measure, and the decision is taken with the help of experiment. So, it is also a systematic body of knowledge. So, yung art naman, so it applies dun sa pagsasolve natin ng various problems through the application of knowledge na nalaman natin. And then, in modern times, there is separation of ownership and management. So, professional experts are appointed. So, in a certain kind of organization, so, kunyari, ang owners niya, it does not technically mean na sila din yung nagmamanage. So, most probably, merong group of experts, yan, professional experts, na ina-appoint para mag-manage nung business. Why? Because itong mga professional experts na to, sila yung mas nakakaalam sa pagmamanage ng, ng isang organization. So, yun. Management, definitions, and function. So, in our world right now, business environment are treated as battlefields while business organizations are engaged, <clears throat> are the one engaged in combat. Why? Because um, there's really a high competition between different businesses in the business environment right now. So, those participants, business participants, have definite rules of management or the professed battlefields where competition for customers occurs. So, ano-ano ba tong battlefields na to? Kung saan yung competition sa mga customers ay nangyayari? So, according to Bateman and Snell, they enumerate those as these five. So, cost competitiveness, innovation, speed and service or and quality yeah as competitive advantage areas so yan yung normally na pinaglalabanan because there's kada business naman meron yang different kind of service na ino-offer different kind of quality kung gaano kabilis so their way of innovation, kung sino yung pinaka-innovative, yung mga ideas, ganyan. And also, syempre, yung cost competitive, diba, ng bawat business. So, comparative advantage, so rules of engagement. So, let's start off with the quality standards. So, these are altered constantly because human desires adjust with new and modern technologies. So, yung quality na standard noon, it doesn't apply right now. Kasi, di ba, the more na, um, yung kasi, di ba, as change goes by, parang ang mga needs and kailangan ng needs ng tao is nagbabago. So, yung quality na kailangan nila is nagbabago din. That's why innovation is really a particular na strategy na ginagawa ng mga business organizations. Kasi through innovations, um, nai-improve din nila yung quality standards na meron sila. Uh, so, enterprises that utilize new technologies to address the quality and speed requirements of its target's clients cannot, however, ignore the cost and service needs of its clients. So, kaakibat ng mas quality, yung mas may quality yung products or service or mas 
um, mas innovative. So, kakaibat nun is yung cost. So, cost is the primary concern for consumers. So, managers must never fail to address this to be competitive. So, di ba tayo, pag bumibili tayo, ang, anong unang tinitignan natin? Kung magkano ang isang product. So, dahil iyan ang primary concern ng consumers, yung managers or yung under sa management, iyan dapat yung lagi din nilang tinitignan aside from the quality of the products or the services para mas maging competitive sila or meron silang advantage sa business environment. So, to balance um, the gain, profit, and remain affordable to clients, is compulsory for business organization. So, yun. It also, depende din yun sa business organization. Di ba, meron namang iba na they really value the quality. That's why it's okay for them na mas mataas yung cost nila. Yung iba naman, really um, nakikinig sa consumers. Siyempre, lalo na sa panahon ngayon na may pandemic, hindi lahat merong fund to spend. So, kung ano yung mas mababa yung presyo, yun yung kinukuha ng mga consumers. Yeah. So, isa din yan sa mga laging um, tinatakel between the management. So, also is the innovation. So, it is the introduction of new products and services. So, because with new technologies, and an active social media, this competitive advantage aspect is growing at a dizzying pace. So, dapat yung mga managers natin is um, alam nila yung mga latest technologies as innovations. Kasi um, ano ba yung nakikita nyo recently? Mostly yung mga products, di ba? Ano na yung new way nila ng pag-market or pag-advertise? So, through yung mga influencers, social influencers, social media influencers rather. So, hindi, dati, di ba, um, mga artista lang, ganyan. So, ngayon, ina-acknowledge na din nila yung mga social media influencers. Kaya dapat, yung managers, alam nila kung ano yung mga latest technologies, kung paano nila mas ma, um, mapapalapit kung paano sila mas mapapalapit sa mga consumers. So, kanina yung quality nga. So, it is the ability of a product or service to meet customers' needs. So, because quality is an aspect that serves client desires, it must be managed well. Kasi ba ano ba yung usually na reklamo nung iba? Kunyari, um, they... So, yan, sa internet. Yan. So, kumuha sila ng ganitong plan. But the quality of the internet is not really good. So, doon pa lang, parang malaking problem na siya sa organization or doon sa business. So, kaya ito yung isa sa pinaka kailangan ding i-manage for them to have a comparative advantage to their um, business opponents. Diba? Di ba, parang meron nga din tayong um, quotation that the customers are always right. So, yung pinaka-need ng customer, yun yung kailangan masuffice ng product mo or service. So, in order to um, mabantayan tong mga quality na to, so in the Philippines, meron tayong Bureau of Product Standards of the Department of Trade and Industry. So, it publishes brochures for the product requirements to set standards for customer safety and protection. That's why for a business, bago magsimula, it is important that it is DTI registered dahil meron nga mga ganto. Kasi parang um, iniingatan lang din niya yung mga customers na bibili or gagamit ng product or services na ino-offer ng company. So, it's way of safeguarding the customers um, of the customer. So, yun. 
So aside from that, kapag naman ang mga binebenta mo is food, ganyan. So meron tayong Food and Drug Administration under Department of Health. So it it is for consumer welfare also and protection. Yan. Kaya di ba um, sa mga business like for example, you're going to sell um, ingredients of an ice cream. So bago ka pa makapagbenta nun, kailangan meron kang tinatawag na FDA approved ka. So ibig sabihin, so may ilalim siya sa, sa checking ng FDA na okay siya na hindi siya makakasama sa consumers or customers. So kaya meron tayo nung certificate of product registration. So bago yan pag nagsa-start ng business, isa din yan sa um isa din yan sa parang kailangan ng certificate na meron ka. Also, service standards. So, sa service standards, itong mga to, um, usually lahat talaga sa business kailangan ito bago ka magbukas ng business. And also, every year kapag nagbabayad or nag-apply ka for business permits, laging merong kaakaybat na sanitary permits. So, this sanitary permit, is for food service personnel issued by the local government units and the Department of Health. So, so itong sanitary kasi, for example, um, pag kasi magre-renew ka ng business permit, meron kang form na kailangang i- na i-submit also for the sanitary. And then, itong from um, the government, pupunta sila sa mismong place mo and then i-check nila if Totoo bang maayos yung lugar mo? Ganyan. Lalo-lalo na sa mga restaurants. Diba? Dahil, syempre, gusto naman natin is malinis and hindi mapapahamak yung mga consumers natin. So, it is also really involves in the service industries. So, service like Jollibee, McDo, so iba't iba pang restaurants. So, Department of Transportation and Communications for Transport and Communication Personnel are established. So, sa service kasi, tuloy na sabi ko, pwede nga sa mga restaurant, uh, ganyan. So, meron pa namang other service like sa mga communication, transportation. Basta ang gamit nila or yung binibigay nila is service. And then, they are also bounded by code of ethics. Like, for example, in an accounting firm or auditing firm, yung code of ethics nila is merong code of ethics of auditors. So, merong mga guidelines na sinusunod yung mga auditors kung ano yung mga bawal, kung ano yung mga hindi dapat ginagawa ng isang auditor. Ganyan. So, iyan is to improve the service standard of the business or the organization. So, when we say service, it is an intrinsic requirement for all customers as they need to have what they want when they need it. So, most of us have our own experience of moving out of long queues in service establishments to go elsewhere. Managers know that this is a loss of income for their businesses. Diba, for example, sa mga banks, diba, sobrang haba ng pila. Hindi lang naman iyon yung nakoconsume. Nung, I mean, hindi lang siya bad side sa part ng mga customers mo dahil syempre mag-aantay sila ng matagal. Pero may effect din yan sa business dahil yung time na makoconsume, it is also equals to the profit or gain na pwede sana nilang makuha if wala sana ng long queues. Diba? The, yung bilis na meron sana is yung bilis din ng pasok ng pera sa kanila. So, it is something like that. That's why we're going to the next is speed. So, it appears to be the buzzword of this millennium. 
So, bakit siya buzzword? So, fast food outlets, internet search engines, automated teller machines or ATM are among more familiar developments. So, dahil, um, for example, tung internet search engines, before nung hindi pa talaga sobrang um, talamak or hindi talaga to um, okay pa yung mga internet na ganyan, we really go to the library kung para sa pagsa-search ng ganto ganyan, especially when I was still in grade school. So, for example, meron kaming spelling, vocabulary, and then the assignment will be you need to find the meaning or the definition of those things. So, nung doon, hindi pa naman okay yung internet. So, wala ka pang Google na pwedeng is i-type mo lang kung ano yung word and then lalabas na agad. So, kami, talagang from the dictionary, hahanapin namin siya isa-isa and then isusulat namin. So, isa yan dun sa... Um, sa kung bakit meron tayo nung um, comparative advantage ng speed. Kasi na, mas napapabilis niya yung buhay ng tao. So, it also, um, pwede din natin pala siyang makita sa mga fast food outlets dahil fast, so mas mabilis yung pag-order na natin ng food. And also through ATM. So, in just a hanap ka lang ng ATM, you can withdraw money. Unlike before na kailangan mo talagang pumasok sa banko, ganyan. So, the customers expect to experience a product or service at a swift rate. So, management must address their needs at a comparative or even pass, faster pace. Kasi, di ba, normally yung mga customers gusto talaga nila mabilis kasi marami pa silang gagawin because also for them time means money so every every um, tick of the clock or yung kada time na nauubos nila meron din siyang cost or meron din siyang effect sa income nila like that one example for example um Paano ba? Kunyari sa isang business establishment, magbabayad ka ng bills mo and there's a long queue and then mag and then mag-open na din or mag kailangan mo na ding uh, mag-in sa work. So dahil kailangan mo na ding magbayad, so ang mangyayari is malilate ka sa work. So ano effect ng sa late sa work? So deduction of your salary. So yung time na na-consume mo kaakibat ng cost or yung income na nawala din sa iyo. That's why very particular din ang mga customers sa speed. So, to be a great company, reliability a compound of the cost, innovation, quality, service, speed aspects is a timeless principle. So, ibig sabihin According dito kay Collins, in his book, Good to Great, timeless yung um, reliability nitong cost, innovation, quality, service, and speed. Kasi ngayon, dati, talagang um, tinitake into consider na talaga tong mga aspects na to ng isang company. And also, in the, in the future, laging yung cost ng product or yung... Um, Quality, laging isa din niya sa unang tinitignan. Yung innovation, yung service, and then yung speed. So, always remember that those five aspects are timeless principles. So, the research finding in the book show that business sustainability includes management of the competitive advantage concepts. So, um, diba, timeless principle nga siya. So, in order for a business to be sustainable and para magkaroon pa rin siya ng competitive advantage, so, kailangan talaga nitong five aspects na to. Kasi nga, diba, nas, nabanggit ko kanina that in our world right now, mala, mataas talaga yung competi competition na nangyayari, na nangyayari 
sa mga business organizations or iba't ibang company. So, you have to step up and really um, take into consider these five aspects. So, many organizations have established other indices for comparative advantage, evaluation, and direction. So, for the World Economic Forum, meron silang 12 pillars divided into three subsets, which are used to evaluate performance of countries in their global competitiveness reports. So, it is a way of malalaman kung ano ba yung um, performance ng isang country sa global competitive natin. Co global competitive. And also, the World Bank funded city development strategy has the urban cart profile with basic indicators for evaluation of a city's competitive position. So, itong mga to is for evaluation ng mga performance ng city or yung countries that involves in the global competitiveness. So, due to globalization and technological innovations, these institutions have established cooperative efforts with partners and affiliates from the private and public sectors in many countries. So, their research findings have spurred dynamic change in the fields of management and organization, often launching fresh ways to mobilize forces for innovative rules of engagement. So, because of that, um, competitiveness or yung mga nalalaman yung performance mo, so kaya nagkaroon ng dynamic change sa field ng management and organization. Kasi dito pumapasok kung yung five aspect kanina dahil sila yung nagpa-plan, nagko-control, nag-organize. So sila yung bumubuo ng five aspects na yon para maging competitive yung company or yung organization nila not just in the city or in the country, but around the globe. So, yun. So, kaya nagkaroon ngayon ng iba't ibang changes kung paano mas magiging okay yung pag handle ng mga aspects na yun. So, that's basically the management definitions and functions. So, for you, in order to um, mas maintindihan nyo pa. So, we're going to have an activity. So, this is going to be by group. So, do activity number one. So, this will be presented next synchronous class. So, the instructions. So, the students are divided into groups with a company assigned to each group. The companies may be utility transport, or food service companies that they have experienced or have knowledge of. So each group evaluates their assigned company according to their quality, innovation, speed, cost, and service aspects. So each aspect is rated from 1 to 5, with 5 being the highest rating and 1 as the lowest rating. The group report or the group's report on their assigned companies. The, re the reasons for the rating are explained based on their own experiences or knowledge. So for this one, you will also have to um, submit to me a soft copy of this report. So, and then on our synchronous class, you can report this by just um, telling or you can present it through a PowerPoint or a video, so it's really up to you. But as long as the content of that is really based on these instructions. So the groupings, so the meaning of the competitive advantage aspects is reiterated to reinforce students' understanding thereof. So, for your groupings, so this will be your group. So, for group one, for group two, 
for group 2, for group 3, for group 4, for group 5, and for group 6. And for the company assigned to you, so for group 1 and group 4, it will be a utility. So it can either be um, communication or um, water, electricity, like that. For group 2, transport. And then for group 3 and 6, I, for group 2 and 5, so that's transport. And for group 3 and 6, that will be for food. Okay. So if you have any questions, so our consultation time is 5.50 to 6.50. You can contact me through Facebook or through my mobile phone. So if you're going to call me, kindly send me first a message. So that's all. I hope you've learned something. Okay. So goodbye class. Ah, okay. Before we end, let's have a closing prayer. So, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, goodbye class. Always please be safe.